Greetings family. Welcome back to my channel. I am Travel with Tay Tay. It is with deep regret that I inform you that there has been another robbery at a money exchange in the Gambia. This is the second robbery at a money exchange in that area in the past year. And unfortunately, these robberies are happening on Fridays. You all may know that Friday is the holy day. These robberies are occurring before Juma prayers. What the heck is going on in the Gambia? Well, let me give you a little bit of history of what I know. Y'all remember the guy with Smin Gomez, the guy that killed Max and gave Stella away, right? There's the video. Now, let me make this clear. I'm not stating that Usman is involved in the robbery I'm about to tell you about. I'm just giving you a little history and context. What I am stating is Usman was allegedly involved in a different robbery at a money exchange on Caraba Avenue. The incident had just happened before I got there in October of 2022. He was being detained at the jail in Banjul. That's the police headquarters. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Gambia, let me explain. There is a main intersection. They call it a junction in Westville, right? The Westville Monument is there. There's also a traffic circle and the place where y'all saw me attend a traditional Gambian wedding. There's that video. Caraba Avenue runs into an intersection. That's where you see the taxis. If you make a right, you're, that's going to take you to the airport. If you make a left, that's going to take you to Banjul. Thanks to us on Gambia for breaking the news. Unfortunately, I did hear it firsthand, but once on Gambia, it's like TMZ, so they have all the details. Fatumata worked for the Forex Borough. The sister was closing the business before heading to the mosque for Juma prayers. I think people start heading to the mosque around 1, 1.30 p.m. because the prayers begin a little after 2 or 2 p.m. Per what's on Gambia, Fatumata was jabbed multiple times during an armed robbery at Westfield. The incident happened shortly before Juma prayers. Now this footage is immediately after the incident happened. She made her way out to the streets and you can see the Gambians trying to find out what happened and how to help her. A source revealed she was rushed to the Westfield clinic but was confirmed unalive on arrival. According to her, the armed robber also tried to unalive himself. He jabbed himself as well, but I heard he didn't unalive himself, said the source. This TikTok video was made five hours before the incident. She was supporting the Scorpions, which is the football team of the Gambia. This is so sad. This woman could have had a husband. She could have had children. May Allah forgive her of her sins. There is one piece of advice I would like to give the owners of these companies, and that is to educate their employees on risk management. Risk management is the continuing process to identify, analyze, evaluate, and treat loss exposures and monitor risk control and financial resources to mitigate the adverse effects of loss. In other words, you are protecting your assets or what you own against losses. For example, hiring a security company to protect your assets, especially when there is a woman working with money, that's an example of risk management because a life, this woman's life is worth more than a business. The business has to have insurance to cover their losses, even from a robbery family. If you ever have the unfortunate experience of being robbed, just do what they say to live another day. I truly wish this woman would have opened the safe, told him to get the money, and when he went to go to the safe, ran for her life. My condolences to her family, friends, and the whole Gambian community. Please, family, be safe out there. I sure will especially if I have to go to any money exchange businesses in Westfield around that Caraba area. Please be safe, my people. Let me know what y'all think about these robberies at the money exchanges in the Gambia and on the holy day at that. Please remember to like and share this video. And don't forget, drop your comments, prayers, and condolences below for Fatimata. I'll see you in the next video.
Janha, rest easy.